Welcome to EduAero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will learn more about magnetic effects of electric current. Let us now discuss magnetic field due to a current in a solenoid. Let us first understand what is a solenoid. A coil of circular turns of insulated copper wire wrapped closely in the shape of a is known as a solenoid. As you can see, this coiled copper wire in the shape of cylinder is a solenoid. If you can recall, the pattern of magnetic fields is same as that of bar magnet. So solenoid is a kind of bar magnet. One end behaves as north pole. This is the north pole as magnetic field lines start from this. And this end behaves as south pole. You can see that magnetic field lines inside the solenoid are parallel. It means that the magnetic field inside the solenoid is uniform. Let us understand what is an electromagnet. When a strong magnetic material like steel is placed inside a solenoid, it gets magnetized. The magnet thus is known as an electromagnet. Here it is shown that elect uh, the steel rod is placed inside the solenoid. When current passes through the solenoid, the magnetic field magnetizes the steel rod and this becomes our electromagnet. Now let us discuss force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. When a current is passed through a conductor, it produces a magnetic field. And this magnetic field exerts force on the magnet placed in the vicinity of the conductor. Now by Newton's third law, we can argue that magnet must also exert force on current carrying conductor. And even this is true. That is, when a current carrying conductor exerts a force on the magnet, the magnet also exerts an equal and opposite force on the current carrying conductor. So if the direction of current is reversed, the force that magnet exerts on the current carrying conductor is also reversed. Let us now discuss Fleming's left hand rule which is used to find out the direction of force exerted by magnet on the current carrying conductor. Always remember that when magnetic field and current are perpendicular, then force is perpendicular to both of them. Now, according to Fleming's left hand rule, if we stretch our forefinger, second finger and thumb such that three of them are perpendicular to each, each other, then the forefinger points in the direction of magnetic field, second finger in the direction of electric current and thumb points in the direction of force exerted by magnet on the current carrying conductor. This is used to find the direction of force exerted by current uh, exerted by magnet on the current carrying conductor as we have already discussed. The diagrammatic representation is shown here. Let us now understand what is electromagnetic induction. When current flows through a conductor, magnetic field is produced as we already know it. Similarly, when conductor moves in a magnetic field, current is produced. Now electromagnetic induction is defined as the process by which a changing magnetic field in a conductor induces a current in another conductor. This principle is used to generate electricity. Now let us understand this process with the help of the given figure. You see there are two coils, coil 1 and coil 2. Coil 1 is connected to a battery and coil 2 is connected to a galvanometer. Galvanometer is an instrument used to detect current in a circuit. As we connect the coil 1 to battery, a current is there in coil 1. By connecting coil 1 to battery, we suddenly changed the current in the whole setup from zero to a non-zero quantity. Hence, there is a change in current and so there is a change in magnetic field and this is a conductor so it moves in a magnetic field which is changing. So this produced a induced current. In coil 2, a galvanometer shows a deflection. As soon as the current becomes constant, the deflection again gets to its zero point or zero mark. This is the principle which is used in electric generators to generate electricity that we use at our homes. Now let us understand Fleming's right hand rule. This rule is used to find the direction of induced current. Fleming's right hand rule states that if we stretch our thumb, forefinger and second finger 
in direction perpendicular to each other then the four finger points in the direction of magnetic field the thumb points in the direction of moment of conductor and the uh, second finger points in the direction of current uh, induced current in the conductor so this is thumb which show the motion of movement of conductor magnetic field shown by four finger and uh, current induced current shown by second finger 